Now we're doing division. So again, the same thing. 1 over x squared plus x divided by the square root of x plus 3. What I would recommend to you guys is to rewrite this as a fraction. So therefore, we have a fraction divided by another fraction. So if I have a fraction divided by a fraction, I always undo this by multiplying by the, starts with an r and rhymes with. So if I multiply by the reciprocal, what's nice about that You have to make sure you have to multiply on the top and the bottom to produce equivalent fractions. Dang it. Any number multiplied by a reciprocal goes to 1. So therefore, I'm left with 1 over x squared plus x times the square root of x plus 3. OK, again, let's go through our constraints again in this problem. What do we know x cannot equal? 0 and negative 1, right? Here. We said this constraint is x has to be greater than or equal to negative 3, right? It has to be greater than or equal to negative 3. But what happens if it's negative 3? Watch what happens. Negative 3 plus 3 is 0, which was OK when that was in the numerator. But now that's in the denominator, if you have 0, 0 times that is 0. Now 0 is not included. Does everybody see that? See the difference? The radical is now in the denominator. So we can't take the square root of a negative. We can't take the square root of 0 now because that would be 0, and 0 cannot be in the denominator. So my domain is the same as it's been before, except now negative 3 is not included. Because it can't equal negative 3, because negative 3 makes the radical 0, and zeros and radicals in the denominator. Yes? So it can't go below negative 3? Like negative 3 and negative 3? No, well, because think it. Let's do negative 4. Negative 4 plus 3 is? Negative 1, right? So that automatically um, breaks this up. And then, so the only difference with this problem's domain and the other problem is now negative 3 is not included. Uh,